Must have been an amazing moment to see them come back in that way. Yeah, we've been waiting for it for a long time. I mean, yeah. last time we saw these dogs, they were in such appalling conditions. A dog meat farm is just such a miserable place. Um, and they physically weren't doing too well either. So to see them looking so bright and confident, mm. others not doing so well, but they will, given time and love and care, they'll be fine. What was it like for you, Pete? It's possibly one of the most harrowing and traumatic things that I've ever done, certainly. But um, obviously seeing Adam come back like this, considering last time I seen him, he was in a rusty cage. Um, it's, it's, honestly, it's the best feeling. It just goes to show what, what brilliant dogs they are, really. I mean, the, the interesting thing as well, as Pip was saying in, in the report, that these dogs that were in such traumatised conditions and horrific conditions are still so docile, they're still so loving. And, and you can see Adam there, he's just enjoying himself now, enjoying the attention. It doesn't seem to be affected, Pete. No, he, I mean, to be fair, Adam stayed with me last night. Did he? Uh, I babysat last night, so, um, so we had his first bath. Uh, oh. and first walk this morning, so um, yeah, he's loving life at the minute. Um, despite everything he's been through, I mean, he's going to make a wonderful companion for someone. Now, you said some aren't doing so well. Is that uh, physical problems they sustain when they were in their conditions, or is it what we might call emotional problems? Yeah, more emotional. Um, mm. I mean, we heard from our UK director, Claire Bass, um, this morning. She's adopted a golden retriever called Henry, um, and he's... I guess you would say depressed. Um, it's, mm. it's a lot to take in. He's seeing new kind of sights and sounds mm. and people and experiences and he's kind of a bit overloaded at the moment. And maybe worried be what's going to happen because we don't yeah, know Yeah, because what... they've seen dogs leave that farm and never come back and being yanked out of their cage, you know, very roughly. So they are scared, but it's really amazing what a bit of love and tenderness can do. Mm. Uh, the conditions are unbearable to think about, but we have them back now. And these dogs, Wendy, how long do you think we will be, it will be before they can start looking for new homes? Right now. I mean, uh, the, our partner shelter, All Dogs Matter, um, has had a lot of inquiries. We've got to match them with the right family. Mm. We won't be looking for families with young children or with cats. Um, but, um, you know, we want to have a nice, settled family. Um, some of these dogs are going to make wonderful, wonderful family companions. Um, I'm totally confident. And not just that, but also really wonderful ambassadors for our campaign to end the dog meat trade. Uh, Pip, our correspondent, is in the studio as well. She's got the dog. Uh, you got, uh, it's Bindi, isn't it, last year? Yes, in I've a had her almost way. a year. Uh, have you got a mic on, Pip? I'm not sure. Yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, what's Bindi been like for the last, since you've had her? Um, when I first got her, she was a completely different dog. She would wet herself in fear, to be honest. Now, she's growing in confidence and she's happy, but people have to win her trust, not the other way around. And she's got they, quite they... a smart little outfit on as well, though. Have you dressed her up specially? <laughs> Just for you, Ben. Just for you. <laughs> That's the important thing. Is, is like that a the, superhero. The, the, like okay. They have been through some serious trauma, Wendy, which is why you have to connect the, the owners or the new parents of the dog carefully with the dogs themselves? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they need to learn that uh, human beings can be kind, not just cruel, because they've seen a very bad side of people so far. Yeah. Well, Simon Cowell um, has been very, very moved by all of this and has been supporting the campaign and sent us, or really, Pip, this special message. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, I've just found out how many dogs you saved through the campaign you launched. I want to say a big thank you to you guys. A massive important to all the viewers who supported our campaign or your campaign. Uh, Happy New Year. And my little buddy wants to say something. Happy New Year. And? And thank you for saving those doggies. Oh, Brilliant. I'm not sure we've heard Eric talking before. Star in we? the making either way. Yeah. Thank you very much, Simon, for sending that message and little Eric as well. And Mandy, thank you. Thank you. Pete, thank, thank you for going along as well. Oh, just no. remind, do you reminds me of Santa's little helper? A slightly Doesn't darker. Look, yeah. Just yeah. the shape of him and the sort of the, the, his ears, the way his ears are just always pricked up. What a gorgeous Looking dog. Looking pleased. Thank you so much. And well done, Pip, as well. Really fantastic stuff.